this is our grand opening of the Performing Arts Center, and this is our senior gala. So at this time of the year, all of our seniors put together their own productions, and it's, the, it's four years of hard work that you see on the stage here tonight. So these are all student-created and student-directed events that are happening, and it's from all of our arts programs, which includes film, digital arts, theater, theater arts, music, dance, graphic design, and multimedia. It has been a very long process, and it started before my tenure here in the district began with former administration, um, but we are now completed in the third phase, so we have um, opened up the back of the building and transformed a few of the old classrooms. So we now have a green room in the back for students. We have a dressing room. We have a, um, I will call it like a stage uh, production room. So it's where they have all of their sets. Um, and then we did, we redid everything on stage. So all new lighting, all new rigging, new line sets. Um, we can now run data and power, so we, can't, we can do more than just turn lights on and off. We can move them, we can change color, um, and it really gives the students the experience that they deserve. This has been a long time coming, and I think that it was mandatory almost to have this be a student event, and especially a senior event, because our seniors are the students who have never performed in this theater. Our underclassmen will have the opportunity in future years, but this is our, our seniors' first opportunity. So they have been at many wonderful performing arts centers over the last four years, but not their own. So we're just really excited that um, we're back and we're home and the students have a space that is theirs. I love um, art and fashion, so I decided to combine the two, and I did looks for some of my favorite celebrities for the red carpet, for performances, and things that just fit their kind of vibe. It's really cool. I mean, we've worked on worked on graphic design for the past four years uh, for three hours of our day, so seeing it finally come together and put a final project out over something that we're passionate about is really cool. I'm super excited. Everyone's super talented, so I'm excited for everyone to show off their talents and, and hobbies. <laughs> So I came up with the idea because I was going to the Lauryn Hill concert in the Presidential Center and I didn't like the poster, so I decided to make one myself because it was supposed to be the 25th anniversary and the poster did not look like a 25th anniversary poster. And so with the poster, I made merch. I think it's really helped me and it makes me want to go into graphic design for my career. So ever since I was little, I've always loved like Broadway shows, loved going to them, loved watching them, the music, all of it. So I wanted to incorporate my love for like the playbills and like just the art for that and like kind of revamp it because I felt like some of them were a little basic, I feel like they needed a little more. So I wanted to put like my own spin on it, my own twist on it and like revamp them. I mean, it's exciting. It's very like... I would say nerve-wracking because it's like the first time that like our shop has ever really had our stuff like displayed and uh, had stuff shown to other people. But it's really exciting that they get to like see what we can do and what we've been doing for the past four years and improving on. These three are all oil paintings and this one is a charcoal piece. Um, they've all been done through different stages of my life, but I'm pretty proud of all of them. I, I'm really fond of realism and taking inspiration from real life and like the things I see around me. So the two statues uh, were pictures I took myself um, when we went to visit the MoMA together as a class. And then the skull I photographed myself as well. And then this fish actually was done from a still life that I built up myself. The fish isn't alive, uh, it was a fake fish, but it was um, a test to paint from realism and from real life and from a still life uh, still life object and yeah overall I'm quite proud of all of them and it's just it's been fun to test my abilities. It's exciting really because you know I feel like every artist always dreams of having their art in a gallery and some people don't really know whether that's something that'll ever really come to fruition but it's it's really nice to be able to show off all of my artwork along with all of my peers. We are so grateful for all of the support we receive. We have a wonderful administration here in Middlesex County Magnet Schools. Mr. Diaz is the most supportive superintendent I could 
be hopeful to work with. Our parents are amazing and our commissioners, they just support us with whatever our endeavor is, they're on board. So we just really appreciate how everyone's come together and made sure that we're able to provide this amazing space for our students.